control it. So I'm telling you, so can't escape the rata joy you know? Judgment and thunderball and lightning, you know. Right now you know we are unstoppable. Unstoppable that means I can't stop you. No, unstoppable. No, now we are so as the lockdowns continue in Jamaica, we continue to see more and more people coming out, lashing out at the government. We see Ayakti and Bonafire recently in our video. But him not stop this so, cause Ayakti and forward again and him have burn another fire. This time Ayakti and I met the PM no say, yo, you're not nah escape the rat of Ja. Cause God have something in store for you, is what Ayakti is saying. Ayakti and I send a message to the PM and the man I say, yo, me don't tell you already. Anything after you come out of this, you don't know if you find me. People, make you jump in and listen to what Akti and Afi say. And you can't escape the universe. Nothing can cons conspire against that. Looking at me, looking at me eye there. I'm dead serious. You have a big plan for you. You have to feel it. Remember me tell you that, Anji. See? Because you have no remorse. You have no heart for the people, especially the people who are poor. You come on TV you know, and I'm lock down the country again. You have no plan for the poor. Look how long I say, set something aside for the poor. No plan for the poor again. Them barely make it through the two weeks, can you? You know how much people. And you know, see, I just, nobody not send you the video where the woman and him and, and, and kill herself, hang herself, because she has no food. Nobody not send you that. Yeah? But I bet you say I come and tell you about mother and Ray Ray them that send that. Yeah? Poor people, some of them fall too. Some of them fall too. They can't see past on the belly. They can't see past on the belly. See me? That's why them people are using and are dealing with them some way. So. Yes. And then you know, cause of them and say, oh, you know, man, defend the poor. Me. A shepherd can't. Be a shepherd without sheep. Me not suffer. I uno me a defend. So me not have to do it. But it was hard and for me to do it. So any repercussions that come with it, Andrew. If you're ready for lock me up, you know if you find me. I'm telling that you're ready. The end of the day, Andrew, you are so in the country. You are locked lock down the place. See? And there is no. No things put in place for the people them where they day to day, day to day, all them are gonna make it up for them other two weeks. Yeah. And then you're gonna lock it down again. And you're gonna lock it down again. Because what? You are trying to force the people them and say, oh, if you take this vaccine thing. I am not anti-vaccine. I'm not telling nobody where not to take and who to take them are big people. But I just want to ask you one question. Why you have to pay to do the COVID test but the vaccine free? Black people look upon that. If the vaccine is an antidote, we want to consider that black vaccine is an antidote for the virus, which is COVID. Shouldn't I pay for the antidote and not the virus? That put the people in a panic mood. Say people them get up at the station and array, and array, and do them thing and array. Who want to do it? Do it. We are now put aside nothing for the poor. Judgment, me I tell you, not Andrew. Remember, me tell you this, you know, the Almighty have to deal with you. you know. Mankind have nothing to do with you. The Almighty have to deal with you. See? Let me tell you this, Andrew. Which Prime Minister of Jamaica ever hear them own party, of course? I have a Labour right friend and I have PNP friend. I tell us I'm a born politics. I not deal with politics. Nobody can come to me about politics. See? And them all, of course. But them just free to talk. All summer, I don't go out and arrest them. I don't go out. I don't go out. I don't lock up on a big stinking mouth. Lock up on a big stinking mouth and not rep for the poor because some of them want to look one bench and live up town now. Like when you remember, say a rat, a monk's rat, rat and cockroach and ghetto life on a live. I don't have a flat platform, a powerful platform. See? I don't have a bun me over the years acting and arrest them. Why? Him too clean. Him looks too pretty. You ever see Celestia dirty yet? Eh? Show me not believe in the concept of Rasta for self, bro. I believe in the concept of Rasta for knowledge. And be abreast about things and educate it. And move away from chuckles and clad chains. See? A man with the knowledge and don't share the knowledge. The man and the knowledge is nullified. The man and the knowledge are good. 
When you come around about in a rasta and prove what the biggest rasta and this and that, I want to lock up on a big stinking mouth now. No man now march every man through that class system. Brother, if anything goes in your life, you know, you don't stand for nothing. You don't know, stand for nothing. Who up on a big stinking mouth and get up people support you know, and turn into a superstar and now using a platform. Everything on a talk about your sizzle and keep it on. And Anthony B and Butcher and them man they feel the fire. Them man they burn no fire already. Una on a rasta too. Una on rasta. Every banner on a put on them man there. And a pressure them man there. Eh? Look how much child and tribulation. You know how much time them man they get no visa to fly going away. Because they want to fire with Cape Town and see that them come burn boy. Yeah. And, and the system will lock them out. Warm to no. And Una on a clad platform with the man they pay up the road and leave it easy. And go on like on a boss and them something. Warm to no. No lock up on a big stinking mouth. And talk about acting and a rasta. Alright, me and a rasta. I take a that ball head then for telling us how no more stink out of your open it. For poor people. Eh? Andrew, you suffer the people them for what? You suffer the people them for COVID. And I tell the people them about a vaccine will not cure COVID. So what is the purpose of it then? As well, I say anybody can go take it. I'm not going against the vaccine, I'm not anti, but who no can go do whatever I want to do. But make sure you say a breast about it. Stop lock down the place and suffer the people them. Want to the day to day people them. The day to day people them, and I'm a day to day. Jesus Christ, I'm back at something. See? And you come and you lock it down. You lock it down without no plans. You lock it down without no plans. The people that like they'll go up on you. No food not there for the people them. Then you have some people who have some little water in them well, that's why they feel like it now affect them because they can maintain it now. But those people are from middle class go up. Want to the people them below that. See, as I'm telling the angel, the Almighty, you know, the judgment and lightning. You know, the Almighty have a plan for you. See? So when you come on TV and cross your foot, them and go on and go on with the educated self. I'm very educated. So I know what I do. I know where you do, and poor people are telling us to move on a, on a belly out of decision, not to crave everything on a make decision, and this, and I die out to that. Brother, I'm telling us to die out to politics and politicians. Die out to the betterment of you. Die out to the betterment of you. You can kill a brother of a color, and your sister of a color, red and green. The only time red and green effective when you put gold in that. Red, green, and gold. If gold not in a, it in a, in a, in a effect, in a no effect. Red, green and gold. If a green and red alone for that. Much youth to kill, how much bloodshed. How much youth to put boy. Political warfare and bag of youth are dead in a slum. Eh? Political warfare and bag of youth are dead in a slum. And you win politics by a landslide, you know. If a PMP vote for you, you know. Who only for money spending on politics, you know. Where the money they know for you, them. We are suffer so boy. Tell you, Andrew. Tell you. See? Philippians 19, verse 3. Philippians 19, verse 3. Say, there, there, there become a time when mankind are vast in them shame. That's why you see a man have a little girl, a little four year old girl. I create sexual activity for him and him still post it and put him video. Man, I glorify them shame. They have suffered the people and I glorify it. Remember, retribution. Tell him. No, I have to said a whole lot of things in other video there. You understand? Him kind of go off course a little bit. But who not talk to me down below in the comment section? Let me know what you think about the things they are acting in that talk. Say. Right down below. You understand? I'm going to look forward for your comment. As long as it makes sense, then you will get a response. See? Now, the leader of the opposition, Mark Golden, had a message for Jamaica. And Mark Golden put out a video. And I feel like if I bring it forward, I couldn't hear what Mark Golden has said. Because after all, we very rarely hear from the PMP. <laughs> so, we we'll take a listen to what Mark Golden has to say right here. My fellow Jamaicans, I'm addressing you this evening at a very perilous and frightening time for our nation. 
it is clear that our healthcare system has reached a breaking point. The COVID-19 pandemic has overwhelmed the system and caused a deep crisis of death and despair in our society. The more contagious and deadly Delta variant has caused a rapid increase in COVID-19 cases to levels never seen before in Jamaica. Over the past three days, we recorded 2,397 new cases, the positivity rate averaging about 50% with 35 deaths. And we've been regularly recording double-digit deaths for several days now. Those needing critical and intensive care have risen exponentially in recent weeks. Our healthcare workers are crying out for help. Our hospitals are overrun and under-resourced. We have seen photographs of patients lying on mattresses on the floors of hospitals. We are told that the manual bag valve masks have had to be used by medical staff for prolonged periods to enable patients to breathe where oxygen has run out. Many have suffered and some have died in these dire conditions. How did we get here? Where was the planning by the government to ensure an adequate supply of oxygen? In July, the Prime Minister told Parliament that arrangements were in place. That was clearly not so. The need for a much larger than normal supply of oxygen was entirely predictable once the government decided to loosen the restrictions in July. We knew that Jamaica has the lowest vaccination rate in the English-speaking Caribbean. We knew that the Delta variant was running rampant across the world. We knew that our borders have been open to visitors and the quarantine rules have not been effectively enforced. Proper arrangements should have been put in place to ensure an adequate supply of oxygen in the event of a runaway spike of COVID cases, which was a clear and present danger to our people. The failure to do so was a terrible dereliction of duty on the part of the government. If we fail to act now, we risk somber and terrifying days ahead. More than ever, we must be vigilant to stop the spread of this virus. Please, where possible, stay at home. Avoid talking up in each other's faces. Wear a mask covering your nose and your mouth and wash hands when you've been around other people. And most of all, please, take the first opportunity you get to become vaccinated. Vaccination is the best tool we have at our disposal to prevent hospitalization and death from COVID-19. Vaccination also puts a break on the evolution of variants like Delta now ravaging the world, including here. So, once again, all adult Jamaicans, all students of 12 years and upwards, please get vaccinated. Every Jamaican bears the burden of personal responsibility. Our choices matter in these perilous times. And I urge each and every one of us to follow information from trusted and reputable sources only. Please don't be misled by conspiracy theories and other misinformation. It is deadly. The opposition has on several occasions called for a variety of measures to be taken to protect the healthcare system, our healthcare workers and the Jamaican people. The opposition stands ready to support the implementation of life-saving strategies and to place our country on a path to recovery. Indeed, I have written to the Prime Minister calling on him to convene a summit to identify workable responses to the extremely desperate situation now facing our country in a demonstration of a common fixity of purpose and national unity. I again reaffirm our commitment to working with the government to implement all necessary measures to help us secure a safe and stable future for Jamaica. Here are some suggestions that we are putting forward which we believe will help to manage our way through this terrible crisis better. A high-level public-private sector committee should be tasked with the governance of the procurement of oxygen supplies and the logistics of oxygen delivery, with a clear mandate to plan ahead to ensure that we never run short of oxygen in our hospitals. Oxygen generators should be brought into Jamaica on an emergency basis to avoid shortages of this critical life sustainer in the fight of what is really a respiratory disease, COVID-19. Oxygen generators will reduce the reliance on bulk oxygen and cylinders, which are now supplied by only one local supplier. Equipment 
that contest for variants must be prioritized for purchase and deployment. It is just taking too long to get test results from samples that have to be sent overseas. Our healthcare workers are the most at risk and the nation is depending on them to care for our citizens who fall sick. We are recommending that each parish has a dedicated healthcare staff facility to ensure that they are looked after well and promptly if they fall ill while serving on the front lines of this pandemic. Those vaccines which require less infrastructure for storage should be made available to private medical facilities to vaccinate their patients with counselling from their trusted doctors and pharmacists. This will assist Jamaica to get on track towards achieving a higher level of vaccination. There are very real challenges in many vulnerable persons getting vaccinated as a result of transportation costs and rural logistics. Vaccination blitz sites are out of reach for many ordinary Jamaicans. We again call for more community facilities to be used as vaccination centers, supplemented by deploying mobile units to visit these communities and increase the vaccine uptake. The efforts to vaccinate the too often overlooked community of persons with disabilities has been inadequate. Mobile units should be used for the purpose of taking vaccines to persons with disabilities and other persons who are unable to travel. The control of our borders, in particular our airports, has been ineffective. The quarantine rules are not being properly monitored for compliance. COVID testing upon arrival and follow-up by the public health system should be rigorously enforced. With our healthcare system under stress, it is time to insist that all visitors to our shores are vaccinated. We have to protect our people and our country as we fight to get out of this crisis. Throughout the pandemic, the opposition has called for measures to provide more support for those who are suffering from the economic ravages of this crisis. We have repeatedly pointed out that last year's one-time cash grant is insufficient to a struggling population. Indeed, the research institution Capri recently reported that the care program was ineffective at reaching many of those most in need. Given the high levels of informality in our economy and the bureaucratic requirements of the care program that many people just could not comply with. The government ran a budget surplus of over $9 billion for the April to June quarter of this fiscal year. That money must be used to protect vulnerable Jamaicans. We should also allocate some of it for supplies to make sure that our hospitals do not run out. And as our children head back to school, we ask again for the GCT on laptops and tablets to be removed. Our nation is at war with COVID and the fight must be a united fight. Unfortunately, that has been lacking so far. The Disaster Risk Management Act has been used by the government to set the rules for the pandemic. But its main governance tool, the broad-based National Disaster Risk Management Council, has been abandoned. That council has not had a single meeting since I became leader of the opposition last year, November. The council should be bringing together both political leaders as well as experts from the public and private sectors to provide broad guidance and promote unity of purpose in confronting this disaster. The pandemic requires all hands on deck and we should start there. My fellow Jamaicans, the coming weeks will be extremely challenging. If the trend continues, we are in for some very somber times. It is up to the government to lead the response that is their duty and their responsibility. The opposition will continue to provide suggestions and support as best we can in combating this pandemic. We are here to work for the Jamaican people in this fight because it is indeed a fight. Together, we can and we will see our way through this pandemic and its associated crises. Let us work as one to save Jamaica, land we love. God bless you all. Well, all right. I've done my part. I bring the video to you. You know, hear what is what. I found the time now for talk to me down below in the comment section. One of officer about everything that Mark Golden has to say and question when I ask you know, something. You know, come here. You know, feel like any one of them different? Whether are the JLP or the PMP? You know, make me know. Because as far as that video you say, 
He must say, yo, Jamaica need effective leadership. But more want to tell me in the comment section. Want to feel anyone better? May I go look out for your comments. Zane, talk to me also about what Ayatian had to say. All right. What are your thoughts on that? May I look forward for your comments. This has been another one from Unsumable TV. Like, share, comment, and definitely if it's your first time here and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So once you upload more videos like this, you no miss no alert. See it? No matter what. Don't make nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable and I'm out. Right now you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable.